Dr. Rice News. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, let's begin what's trending. There's been mixed reactions following comments made by the General Superintendent of the Deeper Life Christian Ministry, Pastor William Kumui, who on Tuesday said that God will use President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to build Nigeria. Kumui spoke with journalists in Oshobo ahead of the Global Crusade program of his ministry. The cleric also urged Nigerians to forget the past and support the new ministers recently appointed by the president and believe that God will also use them as instruments to build Nigeria. Those ministers that have been chosen in the cabinet, they are not new, new people that have never done anything. If you look at them one by one, you'll see the good things they've done, either as uh, state governments in the past, uh, state governors rather, or as other ministers. And they have been, I would say, carefully chosen. If we support them, if we are not, you know, criticizing every step and they don't know where to stand, if we accept them and we believe that God will walk through them, he'll use them as instruments to build our nation, let's forget the past. This is a new day. And I believe, and we all believe, we're going to see new things for our, con for our country through our president and through uh, the members of the cabinet. Good things will happen. Well, unfortunately, I think it's that um, part that he said, forget the past, that got a lot of people talking. Let me take some reactions. Um, this person wrote, was it not the same thing you said during Buhari's tenure, sir? We're beginning to doubt your integrity. And that's a picture, I believe that was from Premium Times, um, when he said that God would give Buhari solution to Nigeria's problems in 2017. Another Twitter user there goes, uh, New things don't happen with faulty foundations. And the Bible said, Elijah repaired the altar that was brought down by Jezebel. It was on this basis that Elijah was able to call down fire. You don't call for fire when the altar is broken. The foundation through which this government came in is faulty and new things can't happen. Your constituent, Ayo, you know I'm coming to you because, you know, I rather, I rather, I, I, by the way, pa, um, Ayo, is a, you're a pastor, aren't you? I'm, I'm, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, I'm proudly so, I'm yes. a Christian, and yeah. so, and I find it interesting that, I must say that um, Pastor Kumui is a man that I respect a lot, yes. and he's been in the faith, he's been a leader in the faith for many years, and I like that the tweet actually drew the fact that he's been consistent yes. in his message. What do you expect from a pastor whose message is on forgiveness and healing? And I, I don't, do you, did you, did we expect him to come out and say, no, punish him? And then you're teaching the Bible to a man who is a scholar in that. So yes. he probably knows what he's saying. Mm -hmm. The Bible enjoins Christians to pray for their leaders. And so in line with that, he's asked us that, okay, no matter what happens, one thing people of faith always say is that no matter the economy is going to favor me, God can use anybody, even the devil, to promote his action. So I think it's important to highlight that. Mm -hmm. He's a dealer in hope as well. They often say that pastors are dealers in hope. They are there to give hope to people. He's not there to make people feel even more despondent and, and feel absolutely yeah. terrible. So he's, he's, he's worked and acted in his office. Mm -hmm. He's spoken as he, according to his faith. Anyone can disagree with him. That's yes. everybody's right. But he's been, whether it's Buhari, whether it's um, um, Tinubu, he's, his position is to pray for those in authority, to hope that God will use them and that it would work well for Nigeria, which he did. So, yes, absolutely. So of Nigeria, remain prayerful, calm, and accept this as God's will. What do you have to say to that? Well, you know, I'm very respectful to prominent Nigerians, especially church leaders, traditional rulers, and all that and other men very respectful to them and I think they should be respected for what they represent in our society but I disagree with them what they're actually preaching is the problem of Nigeria the problem of Nigeria is accepting wrongdoing accepting what is unacceptable that is using God's name in vain that's not what God says God said, do not use my name in vain. So what they're saying is not God's wish. It is not God's plan for Nigeria. So why don't we accept that 
The 133 million Nigerians who are poor is God's wish. Why don't we accept that 95 million Nigerians living in absolute poverty is God's wish? It is God's wish that you don't have electricity. It is God's wish that our children are kidnapped. It is God's wish that we have collapsed primary health care, leading us to the same country with the highest infant mortality. It is everything happening is God's way. Not so what God says. No. God's wish is when you do the right thing. And in the end, it is done. This election was predicated and planned. And we have clear laws about the conduct of the election. If it was followed, if it was if this result were uploaded from the boots, unit. pulling units like they said, to the server and everything, we won't be here, we won't be talking about it. It would have been concluded in a matter of hours without anybody arguing about it. But it is not God's wish that you do the wrong thing. It is not God's wish that you go and rob a train and make money and start sharing it. It is not.